What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. The Buccaneers lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it was a rough one. 20-18, to 18, lose by two points on the road. I mean, this is one of the worst teams in the league, statistically, I mean, in every category. And they had no secondary, and the Buccaneers' offense could do nothing the entire game until score a touchdown very, very late. But we're going to break it down and show you the missed opportunities, sprinkled them with some good, because there is good. It's not all just bad, but it's a lot of miscues, missed opportunities, missed blocking assignments, just a lot of missed. So plus, initially, what do you see and what's going on? Yeah, it's 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 wasted plays. Like, you know, it's just understanding your play sequence. It's understanding how to attack the opposing team. Uh, I understand this call here, but, you know, you just you're wasting it down because you get no yards here. Maybe gave one. Is plus. This is first down. So yep. you, obviously, you know, it's a run. Um, and the the other team knows that too. And I think, you know, you're just, you're wasting opportunities. Um, so now you're in second and nine and we go to the next play again, a good play design. You have Gowan here underneath and he drops it. So again, another wasted opportunity. And now all of a sudden you're in third and nine, which is not a good place to be. And what happens in third and nine, another big opportunity. So Gowan just got done dropping the ball. Third down, this is the beginning of the game, guys. So this is a typical Buccaneer play. Set it up, deep route. Let me get a breaking in route so we can get a big chunk because we need 10 yards. We couldn't get anything on first, second. Oh, it's right there. But it's a little bit short. Can't come up with a catch. What do you see? I mean, Godwin usually runs crisp routes. Russell Gage came out here saying sometimes we play dead. Does this look like a sharp in route to you? What, what's going on with these route running? Look how lazy and slow he is breaking out of this route. Like, you didn't know you are going to get the ball. Brady's already throwing it. He's like, oh, crap, I got to go get it. That's laziness to me. Yeah, Brady mm -hmm. may have thrown it down, but look how far he's running off the route. And if he run this, cuts this in right at the 40, he's got a first down. Bucks keep moving the ball. Look how far away he is. Like, this is the sloppy laziness we're talking about on the offense where it does look dead, and it's, it's disgusting to see. Yeah, I mean, it just – and I saw this throughout the game. It's just lack of details, lack of – just awareness and being where you're supposed to be being on your spots. Um, there's just no crisp to the offense right now. It's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, again, so a wasted opportunity three and out for your, for your offense. Now here again, this is a good uh, play call. I like it. The screen play on first and 10, again, it's a pass play. So you're trying to set something up for a positive gain. Uh, it's just unfortunate because Pittsburgh knows it's coming. So with that, they understand it, and you get nothing out of it. So we go to uh, second and 10 on the next play. Yeah, and it's, it does suck. Sometimes defense calls you out. Well, what are you giving away to the, the other team every time that they, they know this? So here's an actually really good executed play. And plus, why is that? What's going on? Yeah, it's well-designed. It's good concepts. It's well-spaced. And everyone is running with a purpose. Uh, it seems like they give a shit on this play. So as we... Play action here, again, good protection, uh, and you got time, and you have wide open area there for Mike Evans and a good delivery by Tom Brady, and it's a nice completion. They should have probably done more of this. It's unfortunate we didn't see this play again throughout the whole rest of the game, uh, and you get 15 yards because of it. Another recipe that is leading to the Buccaneers' offense looking at crap is our offensive line. I mean, look at the drive, the pushback. I know Gedeke gets a lot of trash and talk, and – Haynes, he gets a little bit of it. Look how much pressure is getting pushed back. I mean, they're, they're right in Brady's face. There isn't much of a resistance in this game. This game was just an ugly one all around, but good delivery by Brady. It's not Brady's fault, a lot of this. A lot of it is he's getting the ball to people. People are either not running crisp routes, blocking's not there, or it just just not executed well by the coaching. And here's something we want to see a whole shit ton more. ISO matchups based on the down. This is third down. They need short yardage game. Short yardage. Look at this block set up here. We got guys one on one on one. Let's get our new little weapon out in space to pick up short yardage. A running back on a linebacker, usually our guys in a win. I guess what happens? Yeah, we win. Right. And, and this play was actually run later in the game, but to Lenny Fournette for a touchdown. So they know how to run the same play twice. So that was good to see. Um, and then here again, another good idea to do play action on first and 10, uh, just poorly designed as far as the route concepts and making sure 
you open up things for your star player, Mike Evans. Um, probably should have had someone out in the flat there to the top of the screen to take away the underneath defender. Uh, it's unfortunate because Mike Evans probably gets the ball here and probably gets a first down and more. Uh, so good idea, just poorly uh, drawn up and not executed. Yeah, well, plus he's talking about saying getting someone in the flats. Like if over here, Kate Otten kind of initially blocks and then spins off of it and goes out in the flats, this linebacker likely goes after him, leaving Mike Evans open underneath. But it doesn't happen because our offensive line was doing piss poor that whole entire game. He's sitting in there to max protect, give Brady some time. So this guy goes nowhere, and he's right in the throwing lane, so he can't complete this to Evans. Even though Evans is doubled, he's still wide open. So if that linebacker's not there, a lot of it is blocking, execution, a lot of the bad stuff that we talk about. Now, this is a really, really good opportunity to run. Why is that plus? Well, again, this is first and 10. So, yes, it's another run on first and 10, but they do a great job of designing and creating some misdirection. Watch the right side of the screen, 51, 35, and 92 all go with Leonard Fournette. Uh, so what do you do by doing this? You create space to the other side, and they do a great job here, great patience here by Rashad White and he gets eight yards on first and 10. That's a productive play. That's what we're looking for when you run the football. you got to have it more consistently, and you got to do things like this to set up your run game. This is creative, but they, the fact that they did this, they know they, they can do it. So don't act dumb again next week when you start doing the same crap again. I mean, look at even 41. He has no clue what this is. He's trying to look back to see, is this going to be a play-action pass? I don't know. By simply having two running backs in the backfield, Lenny always gets the ball on first down, right, guys? Nope, not on this one. Rashad White got it. Creativity, being like, don't be consistently stupid. Let's put it that way, because they do that often. And then they have wide open things like this, where it's like, how it's easy to be easy. Just do it. I mean, get it to your guy until they stop it. And then add in wrinkles like we showed you right there with Leonard Fournette and Rashad White together in the backfield. The teams won't know what the hell to do, but please. Plus, go go on. Mike Evans didn't get targeted that much, but here he is. Wide the hell open. Yeah, and again, setting up things for your your playmaker, Mike Evans. A good concept here. Uh, you know, Russell Gage is going to take both defenders on, on the top of the screen. Mike Evans comes underneath. He's wide open because the play action, you know, fakes out the linebackers, and you just have open space. Creating easy completions. That's the biggest thing we talk about. You you stay ahead of the chains and you get 10 yards on first and 10. You don't have to get to third down. Um, and now we go back to another first down. Again, I it's not a bad concept here, but everyone knows what's coming. So that's why you have guys get beat like Tristan Wurz. He gets beat off the snap. Guy knows it's a run play and it just doesn't work out. Now, if he's able to make that block, maybe you get a better run, but still it's, being a little bit more creative, trying to get these guys off balance instead of being predictable. Yeah, because how many times have you seen Godwin come off the edge right here and it's always going to be a running play, especially if it's a first down. So it's disgusting the fact that they consistently do these things, thinking they're going to win, but other teams see it. Yeah, like he said, he could have probably gotten a big gainer because look at the blocks he has set up here. I mean, there's good blocking around. But this is it. It was frustrating. You have like almost everyone on the team messing up at one point. Chris and Wirfs is Mr. Consistent messing up. Hainsey, Gedeke, they get it all the time. Everyone likes to call, talk on Donovan Smith, who did give up a sack in this game. But it's limited, not just limited reps, but the drops, the limited um, guys blocking, lack of effort there, just route running, terrible. Like, guys, clean it up. And then here, like we're saying, offensive line playing subpar this game. Gedeke, there he is, letting it through. What happens? Goblin's wide the hell open, and he sits there. Is this a, a communication issue with Brady not getting it to him in the flats, or is he supposed to keep running where Brady does throw this ball? We don't know specifically, but thing is, if he doesn't piss stutter right there, he gets the ball for a first down, but again, missed opportunity. Yeah, timing, everything is just off for this offense right now, and it's something that they have to fix. they got to clean up the details, and again, another wasted uh, drive here for that one. Um, now we go back to the good, you know, showing first and 10, you're out of a, a spread formation. Good sign. You spread out the defense. Look at the box. It's not, you know, all jacked in and you have opportunities to get easy completions. Nice, you know, nice play here to Cam Brate. Sets it up very good. And you get nine yards on first down. That's the way to do it. 
And these are basic plays the Bucks run all the time, too. Just this little flood to one side. And then look at this throw. Look at just isolating this one guy. Godwin's attacking the one guy. This is before the half, and then just cuts it in right here. The throw is amazing. I mean, hitting it in space right on the cut and low where only Godwin can get it. That's Brady at his finest. Right, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, again, just being simple, being aggressive, but attacking the defense. And again, we're back to the first and 10 runs that just are not working. Um, again, this is against a loaded box. Um, you got a you know scot-free defender coming in from the left side, and, and they're smart to attack this side because, you know, Gedeke is is obviously a rookie and he's struggling to pick up things. No gain. Um, here, this was good. You know, third and one, this was a third and one situation. Uh, and they did a good job to attack the right side and also the side that was open. Uh, you see the defensive front shifted to the left there. They did a good job of attacking the right side. And then good efforts from K. Dot and Chris Godwin. Guys setting things up and not immediately getting beat off the snap. Then there's not no one in front of Worf, so he can work his way down the line, pick up a linebacker, and keep moving forward. So just don't run in boxes where you know it's loaded or they you're not giving away the play. And then I like the idea. You just ran it right up the gut. Now let's go wide. Lenny's been having a lot more success wide, so let's do that. Get guys moving in space. Shaq Mason here. Andy coming around the edge. Just get things moving. I mean, I, I like that it was a three-yard, four-yard gain. But, I mean, a lot of it's – look how much they're knowing on first down. Everyone's getting downhill, getting after it on the defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just – it, it's not a bad uh, call here and there's nothing wrong with running the football. It's just, how are you running it? How do you set it up for later? Um, and how can you be more unpredictable and, you know, take advantage of what the defense is giving you um, again, another first down run here, really going nowhere. They already anticipating, you see everyone fill the gaps. They know what's coming. So it's just understanding that you're seeing that defenses are, are reading this, you got to do play action here and do something different uh, to get them off, off guard. Yeah, I wrote eight. Eight's in the box right now. So that's two receivers and then one deep safety. Everyone else is right there saying, you're going to run the ball. I got you. Don't worry. You're going nowhere. And there's a, a drawn flag right there. There's a flag on Coquive, which is bull crap because this is just more of a pancake. The, the rookie just puts him right in the ground. That is a good block to me. But it's another run, another stupid flag. And it's it's killing the team. It's killing the offensive. Just chemistry is killing the, the sequencing, but Leftwood's got to scheme it up better because this ain't it. No, it's definitely not it. And and here's another one, you know, third and one uh, that we had a punt after because didn't get the first down. Uh, Godwin in motion. Everyone knows it's a run to the left. And guess what? They shifted to the left and they stopped it. So you just have to be different. You have to do something, you know, to get these guys off balance because right now they are just reading and reacting, knowing the play before it begins and they're taking advantage. Yeah. You're giving things away. And we showed you the creativity they do have on all on the offense. Just do it. Sprinkle in a little bit more because it works when you do it. You know, it's not even a trick play. It's just a different play than what you've been running out there and other teams know what the hell your normal stuff is. So fix that up, clean it up. There's so much talent in this team that's getting wasted. It seems. And let's see some more motion. A little bit more, please, guys. Uh, let us know down below what you think. What, what do you think is the real cause? What's going on? Is it left witch? Is it offensive line? Just drops, penalties? What is it, guys? What's going on based on what you saw here and what you see during the game? Let us know down below. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. With that said, until the next one.